All right, everyone. Hello, and welcome to yet another Early Learning Live from Arizona Science Center. My name is Cole, and let's go ahead and just wait a few minutes to let people into the live stream. Um, I hope you all are having a great day. I know I am. I got up super early to prep for this activity and this Early Learning Live, uh, so I'm fully awake, a little bit caffeinated, and ready to teach you all about some awesome insects. Now, it looks like we have somebody in the, the stream right now. Hello, my two uh, friends. Hope you all are having a great morning. We're going to wait just a few more seconds. Uh, in the comments below, uh, why don't you go ahead and let me know how you're starting off your morning. Love to, you know, know that you all are having a good day as well. Let's just give you all a little bit more time before we start off. Uh, today we are talking about insects, some creepy crawlies, some of my favorite creatures on the planet. Um, but let's go ahead and wait just a little bit longer. Try to see if we can't get up to well, at least five people in the stream. Do, 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 do. If you want to in the comments below, go ahead and let me know how your day is going. I'd love to hear it from you. And it looks like we got some people now. All right. Well, for those of you who weren't here right when I started off, my name is Cole. Welcome to Early Learning Live. Today we're talking all about insects, creepy crawly, some of my favorite creatures. Now, I know what you're wondering, probably. Cole, what makes an insect so unique? What makes an insect, well, an insect? Well, I have got some information for you to help you discern insects from other creatures. So. Really, the way you can tell an insect from any other creature is by its body parts. Now, I've got this handy dandy little cheat sheet right here. Essentially, insects have six legs, they have three body parts, and sometimes they have wings. So, six legs, they have three body parts. Those body parts are the head, the thorax, and the abdomen, which is the bottom part. I'll show you that on my little ant friend right here. So, we got the head, the thorax, and the abdomen down here, and sometimes they have wings. All right, so if it's not an insect, that means it has more or less than six legs and more than likely no wings. So what we're gonna do today, I've got an amazing book called Ant, Ant, an Insect Chant by our friend April Poli Sayer, illustrated by Trip Park. We're gonna read this and then do a little fun activity to teach you a little bit more about insects. Sounds like a good time? Awesome. All right. So ants, 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 an insect chant. Brush-footed butterfly, leaf-footed bug, bird-dropping caterpillar, slug, slug, slug. And so we have all of our little insect friends right here doing their thing. Camel cricket, cave cricket, mole cricket, louse. Case maker casted a fly, it's in house, or in its house. All right, we have some more insects along here. Let's keep going. Bill bug, bed bug, bark beetle bee, painted lady butterfly, and flea flea flea. Two spotted stink bug, white lined sphinx, tiger moth. Underwing hiding pinks. Cockroach, earwig, earwig. Like them? No. Firefly, flower fly, ant, ant, ant. June beetle, May beetle, corn beetle, click. Woolly bear, water strider, and walking stick. I have a walking stick insect right there, which actually looks like a stick. They have an amazing camouflaging ability. Luna moth, Io moth, sulfur blue, housefly, black fly, shoe, shoe, shoe. Doodle bug, tree hopper, and its trap. Still more beetles, snag, seed, and sap. So there are so many beetles out there. Actually, as uh, biodiversity goes, there are more beetles than any other animal on the planet. Conehead, 
Dung Beetle, Crazy Green, Shadow Dragon, Swallowtail, and Queen, Queen, Queen. We have Monarch Butterfly, Butterfly right there. Grass Moth, Gold Moth, Fairy Moth, Fern. Lots more moths for me to learn. Damselfly, Dragonfly, watch those lips. Back Swimmer, Boatman, thrips, thrips, thrips. Yeah, so did you know that some insects actually live underwater? Just like the Back Swimmer and the Boatman right there. Question mark, comma, fritillary, and snout. I love insects. Shout it out. All right, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe that is the end of Ant, 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 an Insect Chant by April Poli Sayer and illustrated by Trip Park. Now, if you like the book, definitely go support the artists and uh, pick up a copy for yourself. All right, so the book is over. But I now have a little challenge for you all to do with me right here in this live stream. So if you all remember what the, uh, how, did, how you can tell an insect from not an insect, go ahead and let me know right now in the comments. What are the three ways you can tell if something is an insect? I'll give you all a second if you want to go and toss them there. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to toss it my way. Uh, via comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. All right, but the three ways, remember, that you can tell an insect from not an insect is by its body. The first one being the body segment. So insects have three body segments, just like on this little ant. We have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen at the very back. They also always have six legs. So this ant has six legs right here. Sometimes they have wings too. This ant doesn't have a wing, but some ants do. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up a few more toys of insects, and I want you, with your family or whoever is watching this with you, I want you to go ahead and try to guess if it's an insect or if it's not. All right, are you ready for the first one? All right. So is this an insect? Yes or no? I'll give you a second to decide. Three, two, one. So this is an insect. This is a cicada, or a toy of a cicada. Cicadas are super cool. Actually, we have them all over Arizona. You can uh, find them outside. If you ever hear like buzzing during the summer, really, really loud, zzz, it's more than likely them. They make that noise whenever they're getting ready to mate. Uh, but the cool thing about ins or, uh, insects, the cool thing about cicadas is some of them will burrow into the soil when they are pupating or changing from their larva to their adult form for upwards of 17 years. Can you believe that? They just stay in the soil and slowly, slowly change over time, 17 years. Now, when they eventually come out of the soil, they tend to erupt in a huge sea of cicadas because they all do it all at once. There's some places back east uh, where that's actually kind of a really big problem. All right, let's move on to our next one. So. That one was an insect, right? Three body segments, six legs, and wings. Now, I've got someone here that you might have seen before, maybe in your backyard or on TV. This is a scorpion. All right, friends, is this an insect or is it not? I'll give you a second to discuss with your friends. All right, three, two, one. So this is actually not an insect. Uh, scorpions belong to the same family as spiders. They're called arachnids, and the way you can tell that is because they have these eight legs right here. Fun fact, most scorpions are actually really, really good mothers. When their infants are born, uh, the mother scorpions, or at least some of them, will actually carry their babies on their back, acting as a little like school bus for their kids to move around the desert. Uh, they will also oftentimes protect them inside their little homes on the ground uh, by washing the door and everything. So very, very strong maternal instincts with scorpions. All right, so we have one insect and one knot, right? We have an arachnid. Let's move on to another one. This one might be a little bit trickier for you. This is a caterpillar. And do you think this is an insect or not? Go ahead and count the legs, count the body segments. I'll give you all a second. So three, two, 
and one. So these little guys right here, right? These little caterpillars, uh, they are actually insects, even though they have all of these different legs, right? So they actually have really, uh, they have six legs, sorry, excuse me. They actually have six legs and you can see those right up here, but then they also have these little nubs, these little bumps that don't actually count as legs. They have five pairs, uh, and those help them move around a little bit easier. They also do technically have three body segments, even though they look a little bit bumpier and broken up like this, but they still have their head, their uh, thorax, and also their abdomen as well. Uh, when caterpillars turn into butterflies, they create a, something called a chrysalis or a cocoon around them, and actually inside of there, their entire body breaks down into a soup of genetic material. Uh, so this entire caterpillar essentially gets dissolved and they reform as a butterfly inside of their cocoon. Pretty wild, right? I used to think that, you know, caterpillars just would grow wings and turn into butterflies, but that's actually not what happens. All right, and I have one last one for you before I let you all go. So this, my friends, is, well, is it an insect or is it not? This one might be a little bit easier for you. I'll give you all a second. Three, two, one. So, as I'm sure you probably could tell from the numerous amount of legs, this is not an insect. This is actually an arthropod. This little guy right here is more than likely a centipede. We do have centipedes out here in the Sonoran Desert in Arizona. Uh, they are predatory bugs and they will normally have two um, Oh, what is it that they're called? They have these two modified legs that have venom in them that act as pinchers at the very front of their mouth. This guy really doesn't right here, mainly because this probably isn't a Sonoran uh, centipede. They're found all over the world, all over the country. But as you can tell, they have definitely more than six legs uh, and they also have more than three body segments. So the cool thing about centipedes is they always have two legs per body segment. And whenever they get bigger or they need, you know, they eat a lot and they start to grow and they need to shed their skin, um, they actually grow a whole new body segment. Same thing goes with millipedes, which are like centipedes, uh, nice pacifist, uh, uh, non-meat-eating cousins. All right, friends. Well, this has been an Arizona Science Center Early Learning Live. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in. We have another uh, live stream today at 1 o'clock. An amazing science demo is coming up there. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to make you kind of search through our Facebook page a little bit more, get you a little bit more involved. Uh, but um, we do this every day uh, at 930 we also, like I said, we do the one at one o'clock. We also have a ton of content up on our social media. So check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, as well as YouTube. Um, and I am going to go ahead, turn this off, and get back to doing some science on my own. So I hope you all have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the insect things. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, friends.